Hello everyone, hope you all are doing so wonderful. Happy weekend to you all. So, in our tutorial for today, I will be showing you some simple steps involved in creating uh, an all ladies night party flyer design on your Pixel Lab application. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, please hit the subscription button right now. Turn on the notification bell just so you don't continue missing our regular tutorials and other design tips to all our returning subscribers thank you guys so much now let's begin and uh, without wasting much of your time i would love to take you to these three dots here which enables you to change your image size so the size for this design should be five by six aspect ratio so as you can see we are using a five by six uh, design size now once you have that click on layer then you can click on color to give it color black and go straight away to bring in the next the first element for this design so I have this nightclub image with me I'm going to leave the link to get this results on the video description so I'm going to increase it in size just to make it come to focus then use your relative position to tack it to the middle you can even send the image up a little and go to layer and lock it up the next thing is to create some light effects here that will make it appear as though it's a stage or kind of a stage light effect so we are going to achieve that by using stickers so kindly follow us as we do this so I'm going to increase the size of this sticker and here I must insist that don't you click on this check mark to continue rather just tap your finger on the screen and your sticker will remain so let's go to color and enable our color and choose gradient rather so we want to give this sticker a gradient and we need to set that gradient so I'm going to click on the plus button here and after clicking on the plus button I will click here and here once I click there, I'm going to choose a yellow color. Just move it to where you can see yellow on the screen. So I have this bright yellow. Then the next thing I would love to cho choose is the gradient pattern. So I'm choosing this foot pattern, the radial pattern where the light is focused on the middle. And I'm equally going to choose this. Click on this two points to set the second color and a call second color will be orange so we just want to use a complementary color harmony for this gradient and I'm going to click now OK then I'm equally going to send this yellow push it in front a bit and as well push this also so that I have this now click on OK and click on the check mark then you have your gradient what I'm going to do now is to go to layer and just lock it up. Then the next thing I want to do is to bring in the image of the lady. So I have the image. I'm going to crop it into my design. Then moving forward, I would love to click on relative position and uh, click here to make sure that it's on the middle. Then you can even go to position and try to send it up a bit. Good. Now let's click on the erase tool to blend the image. If you can check where here, you will notice that the image is not blending with the background. So we are going to click on eraser. Then we increase the size of our eraser a bit. Then increase the blurness completely and increase your pen size then holding it carefully erase the sharp edges we don't want these sharp edges so we're going to erase it carefully and once we are okay with that just click on the check mark up here and uh, you have your image blended with the background so the next thing i'm going to just going to do is just to lock it up and uh, 
give way for other elements. So now what we are going to do is to bring in our text for the design. But then, before we do that, I would love us to click on stickers to make the image blend so well with the background. So we are going to click on stickers to add some dark stickers here. So I am just going to give it color black. This is just to make the image blend well with our background. Going to go now to layer to select all the stickers and mesh them up together. After matching them, I'm going to lock it up this way. Now we need to write the necessary information, so I'm going to click on text. This as you, as you follow the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are not left out whenever contents like this are passing or other important design tips are dropped. Thank you so much. So I'm going to click now on text. Double tap to write sexy ladies. Then proceeding, I would love to go to font and uh, check for any script font that I want us to use. So we can use Basi. Download Basi fonts on dafont.com, a free font site. So I would love to use letter position to tack it to the middle. Then the next thing I want to do is to click back on text, double tap, to write night in capital letters. After writing it in capital letters, go straight to font and give it the Monga Night Bold. So we are using the Monga Night Bold font. This is the font, Monga Night Bold. So what am I going to do? I just want to increase the size of this to fit uh, to fit perfectly here. Good. Ah, you can even use your native position for that. Then go to 3G text, enable it. And the first thing I want us to do is to unenable un this, uh, go and unenable this lighting. Okay, we don't want that lighting. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Good. Then now. Uh, The depth should be 2 and we want to reduce this shadow a bit. Good, so we are okay with this. Now the next thing we want to do, let's send it down a bit. So this uh, replaces a kind of a text effect that we could use here for this uh, in order to achieve this. So the next thing I want to do us to do is just to copy this text now and write party in capital letters. So we'll have party. We're going to even make this big a bit. But uh, the color for party should be different. So we are going to click on gradient and give it the same gradient as the one you use for that light effect. Such that we have this. So I have this. Let's try to send this up a bit. And send this also. Everything has to plumb well. So the next thing that we love us uh, we love to include in the in the design as the details for this uh, event. So I'm just going to write 
brought to you so this event is is being handled by vibes concept that's why we say brought to you by vibes concept and the font that i'm using is take note i'm using the bibas font the papers font so we can reduce the size of this brought to you by vibes concept and use relative position to pack it to the middle and once you have that go again to write the next information so the next information is uh, music music by DJ Cliff and friends introducing DJ Stefan so these are some of the details are required for this flyer so music by DJ Cliff and friends introducing DJ Stefan the well, next thing I want us to do is to go to font and change the font to something better. So uh, I want us to use I want us to use the Roxford Sans Light for this. Just reduce the size. Pull it along. Let's reduce the size further and make it stand out this way. Then use relative position to tack it to the middle. And the next thing I want us to do is to put in the uh, the date and some other important information. So the first important information here is that there is free free drinks and parking. Let's slash the dates. Of course, this event is coming up live on the seat of May 2023. So we are going to put slash 06 May. 2023 so these are uh, some of the the details that are required then you can use relative position as well to just tack it on the middle it's very important in order to uh, make everything stand out well so uh, the next thing I want us to do is to go to shapes click here on this third button and click on shapes then you can choose this square just make it to a try a rectangle sorry then you go to gradient give it the same gradient as uh, that of the the other ones we've been using before and you use your position button to pack it to the middle then copy this Oh my god sorry guys so we are going to copy this brought to you we want to repeat that same font remember it's always advisable to limit the number of fonts you use so we want to write the uh the venue for this so it's at palms nightclub banana island i don't know where banana island is but this is just for the sake of this uh, for the sake of this tutorial so it's the palms the palms nightclub sorry it begins with the palms nightclub please don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you are not left out when other interesting contents are dropped so i'm going to write the palms nightclub comma banana banana island of course such uh Fun activities always occur in uh, these kind of places. So that is uh, the creativity that was in me when I thought of this location. I'm going to change this to color black, then bring it here. Using relative position, I will click it to make sure that it's centralized on the middle. And guys, moving forward, I would love us to include uh, this. Uh, 
circle so let's first of all go to shapes let me take that over so we're going to go to shapes click on shapes then choose this circle and as you choose your circle just reduce the size considerably position it here then go to gradient give it the same gradient let's reduce it let's even reduce the size of this a bit and you can leave it like that then copy this and write 18 plus so this is a warning mark this party is only for 18 and plus for each people age 18 and plus so we're going to control this carefully carefully control this and bring it here good so after bringing it there let's even increase the size of it let's even increase its size to make it stand out i think 50 is okay so let's just make it stand out this way good so uh, this is how you can design uh, a night party flyer on your pixel app application so the next thing you want to do is just to save your work by clicking here on this save button and your work will be safe I believe we've all learned one or two things here and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share the tutorial with your friends so that they can also learn the one or two things that we've learned thus far thank you guys for your support thank you guys for always watching our tutorials we promise to always do more and more for you guys and also let us know where you are watching from so that we can send you a hug in our next tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We love you all.